Hi, Miss Flower's back, and we are ready to pick up right here from the fort on our reading of Dragon Master's Secret of the Water Dragon. If you remember when we left off, Drake and Bo and their dragons, Worm and Shu, had gone to Emperor Song's palace to see if they could figure out what had come over Emperor Song and to see why he wanted the Dragonstone so badly. So, just as we left off, the Raven Guards had closed in around Bo and Drake and their dragons. Let's see what happens next. Chapter 11, Emperor Song. Drake struggled as a Raven Guard held him under one arm. It is no use, Bo whispered. They are much stronger than we are. We cannot fight them, and they are taking us to Emperor Song, which is what we want. But we need Shu, Drake whispered back. Do you think our dragons escaped those other guards? Bo frowned. They may have been captured. We will have to face the Emperor without them. Drake looked down at his dragon stone. Worm, give me a message. But the stone didn't glow. Then Drake thought of something. Emperor Song might see our pieces of stone. What if he tries to take them? Quick, he whispered to Bo, hide your dragon stone. The raven guards carried Drake and Bo through a large hall. Gleaming black and red stones formed a pattern on the floor. Large black columns lined the walls, and a red dragon design swirled around the columns. The guards took them to a large room. A dozen or more raven guards waited for them there. A man in a red robe sat on a white throne. He had a long mustache and a pointy black beard, and he wore a black hat. A thin smile spread across his face when he saw Bo. It reminded Drake of a field snake's smile. Ooh, creepy. Bo whispered to Drake, See the evil in his eyes? This is not the emperor I remember. The guards let go of the boys and pushed them toward the emperor. Bo, Emperor Song said, I am surprised that you came so quickly. Where is my dragon stone? Bo looked at Drake, panicked. They had been counting on Shu to help them deal with the Emperor. Without Shu, they had no plan. And without Worm, there was no way out. Well, Bo, the Emperor asked, I am waiting. I, I don't have the dragon stone, Emperor, Bo said in a small voice. A dark look came over the Emperor's face. No dragon stone, then you have failed me. It's not Bo's fault, Drake blurted out. Emperor Song looked down at Drake. A child dares to speak to the Emperor this way? Take them to the prison. These boys shall join Bo's family. Drake squeezed his eyes shut. Worm! Worm, can you hear me, Worm? We need your help. Take them away, Emperor Song yelled. Then the doors burst open. Swoosh! A giant wave of water filled the room. Wow. Chapter 12. The Water Dragon's Power. The Emperor jumped onto the seat of his throne. The strong wave knocked the guards off their feet and Drake held his breath, waiting to be docked down too. Then his whole body began to tingle, and he looked down. He was floating above the water. But how? It's the dragons, Bo called out. Drake turned and saw that Bo was floating in midair too. Chu must have used the water from the pond to break into the castle, and Worm is keeping us above water. Chu floated into the room, traveling on top of the waves. Her blue scales shimmered. Her eyes gleamed. Worm came behind her. 
As he slid across the floor, the water moved away from him. Shu floated over to Bo. He climbed on her and gripped her saddle. Worm slid underneath Drake. Drake felt Worm's hold leave him, and he dropped right onto his dragon saddle. Emperor Song pointed at the, at the two dragons. Guards, grab them, he cried. But his raven guards were woozy after being hit by the wave. They suddenly got to their feet, splashing in the knee-high water. More guards will come, the emperor said. You cannot harm me. I am the emperor. I am the ruler of this kingdom. Get back. Then Shu glided right up to the emperor. Her huge head just stopped inches away from his. Do not eat me, Emperor Song yelled. Shu closed her eyes, and a misty blue cloud floated from her mouth. Emperor Song looked up at it, terrified. He froze as a light blue mist rained down on his head. The look on his face changed, and he looked peaceful. What a beautiful creature, the emperor said, reaching out. He gently touched Shu's nose. Back on their feet, the raven guards charged toward Shu. Stop, the emperor called out. Our guard, our guests must not be harmed. Drake and Bo looked at each other. Guests? Drake mouthed to Bo. It seemed like Shu's powers were working. Emperor Song stood up. I am sorry, Bo, he said. I do not know what came over me. I should have never asked you to steal the dragon stone. I fear I was under a dark spell. But your dragon, your dragon has somehow saved me. Bo's dragon stone began to glow beneath his shirt. Bo closed his eyes. After a minute, he opened them. Shu has a very special secret power. She can wash away any spell. She has just broken the spell that Maudred placed on you. I should never have let that wizard into the palace, said the emperor. Maudred's dark spell made me force you to steal the dragon stone. My raven guards were only obeying my orders. Does this mean Bo's family will be safe, Drake asked. Of course it does, Emperor Song said. I will release them from prison. Bo bowed his head. Thank you, Emperor. Drake smiled. He was happy for Bo. Then, without warning, he heard Worm's voice in his head. Danger is coming. Drake looked up. A swarm of glowing red balls flew into the throne room. They came at them at lightning speed. It's Maldred's dark magic. Get down, Drake yelled. Wow, a lot going on here. We'll see you tomorrow night to see how this turns out.